hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this vlog today is going to be a story time vlog i put up a question tag and i asked my friends to ask me questions they would like to know about me and these questions came up amazing interesting questions but the one that really stood out for me is this particular one we're about to talk about today you know i've been getting this question all the time like you know people kept keep asking me about this question but i'll, I'll always like dodge it because <laughs> i don't know i'll just dodge it you get but today i'm going to be talking about it but before i proceed huh, I just want to express my love my love to all my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i am really really grateful i am so super grateful thank you so much and if you know you're viewing this right now you've not subscribed to my channel look at me saying please 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 subscribe to my channel just click the button it's very easy it's very easy thank you so much i know you've done it or should i give us a minute to do it I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Let's get into today's business. The title of our story today is How I Met My Husband. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit awkward, guys. So, I've known my husband for 10 years now. Back in 2013, we met 10 years ago. He texted me, this was his story. He told me that he was at the bank one time to pay his school dues. He was at the bank and he saw a guy swiping through my pictures. The guy was his friend apparently. And he asked the guy, who's this lovely girl? You know, a pretty girl thing. And the guy said, I am the girl he is trying to ask out. That I'm never giving attention. I'm never even speaking to him and all of that. And that I am feeling too, I don't know, but whatever. He was like, I'm the head girl of my secondary school at that time. And I wasn't going to speak to any guy at all. So my husband said that he wants to try. He begged for my username. So when he gave me this story, I was like, you are very selfish because a guy who you say is your guy, you know, tells you that he likes a girl and you happen to have the trick up your sleeve instead of you to share, <laughs> you decide to ask for her username and of course the guy gave it to him and he texted me and we got talking. We're talking a lot, like a lot. But we're not seen at that time because I was still in my secondary school. There was no excuse whatsoever to give my my dad. There was no excuse to give him. So we're just we're just talking at that time. And then we got close. He asked me out, but I couldn't give him a reply immediately because I was in secondary school. So I told him that you know I wanted to finish get into university before i can think of having a boyfriend and i will do all that in the following year so he now said that he was going to wait i was like okay fine because i did not even think that he was going to actually wait i said that because i wanted him to leave me alone i didn't even feel like to stop pressuring me rather because i didn't even feel like he was going to wait the following year but guess who waited to the following year guess who called me January 1st, 2010. <laughs> My husband, he called me. 2010. I was like, you have to wait till the following year. I'm here now. My reply. And I was like, okay, fine. You actually, because he did write by me at the time that he was waiting. So I said, okay, yes. And that was how we got dates. <laughs> second question that was asked alongside with this one i will not really generalize it you know someone asked me how do you know if your husband or the person you're dating at the moment is your husband now i am not i do not know too much yeah i cannot really tell that this is how you know that your boyfriend is your husband believe that it's different um, um strokes for different folks 
i cannot really generalize it you understand i just feel like your desires are not mine my desires are not yours your deal breakers are not mine and my deal breakers are not yours so i feel like it's a personal thing what i know i'm just going to speak for myself and how i knew that my husband was my husband so at the time i got married i wasn't even marriage wasn't even on my mind i wasn't even thinking about marriage i was still basking in my you know i don't know what to call it now the euphoria of my um of my early 20s you understand i was still enjoying myself i wasn't even thinking about marriage at all when he started bringing up marriage talks and all i was trying to weigh him weigh his character and if i wanted to do life with him and i realized that he is the most perfect person for me because he matches me my husband is a gentleman i'm not really a gentle girl you understand i'm not a gentle person i have i was really you know kind of hostile when i was growing up he really matched my character because i was like fire and he was like ice honestly that was how i knew that oh okay this one match matches me you know so there's nothing you can do to my husband that will make him you know there's nothing you would do that will make him get out of character there's nothing you're going to do that will take him out of character that will change who he is he's that meek person no you you cannot you cannot make him so angry there's nothing you're going to do that will make him so angry at you so when i saw this trait i was like me this man is not angry at me like a whole year would pass i will not have issues i was like okay okay i can live with this one you understand and coupled with the fact that he always supports me cares look at me he supports all my dreams like even if they, they sound really crazy what i want my aspirations in life were sounding really crazy he did not one day judge any of it he should be the person that i am supposed to <laughs> like okay this person can be this understanding and patient with me knowing how i was at that time i just feel like oh she should be someone i should spend the rest of my life with coupled with the fact that he would always support my dreams like whatever i tell him that i wanted to achieve at a particular age and a particular time he would always say i can do it honey you can do it honey you can do it. even if he felt like it seemed unachievable he would always tell me you can try you can do it i trust me there's like there's nobody that believes in me more than my husband he would always tell me you can do it you can do it and i'll feel like when he tells me that i just have this you know i have this um reassurance and confidence within me that i can actually do anything that i tell myself that i want to. and even most times when we have issues or we have arguments he will not be the person to ghost on you he would always like let's talk about this what's wrong in our relationship let's talk he would always talk and i like men that talk he would never say okay we're well, having issues let me go let me stop talking to you he's a man that addresses situations he will not ghost on you he will not he will not say okay we're not talking let me leave her for two days one day or even hours he would always address the situation he always behaved so maturely we have an issue we like honey let's talk about it even when i'm wrong like even when i i it's obvious that i did something bad he always call me and say let's talk about this issue why did you do this you understand what i'm saying like a man that wants to get to the root of why you acted the way you did so i was like mm. I'm not sure God God created two of this kind of person. Let me just <laughs> let me go with this man. You understand? So I when I was thinking about the whole thing, I felt like okay, he actually was the kind of man that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. So I said, like, why not? Let's do it. You know, throughout the years, I did it for such a long time, throughout the years that we dated, this man did not one day shout at me. Like my husband did not shout at me at it. At, at any point in time he never shouted on me he never raised his voice and i'm a person that raises, raises my voice a lot before before now he always kept calm he always he was nah my husband is too gentle he's too meek honestly this guy just knew that okay this is the person for me i prayed about him severally you know i just he just smashed me in every aspect of life. You know that way they say when you really love someone, you just know. Like there's no, there was no doubt. 
there was no fear when I wanted to get married. There was no fear. There was no doubt. I wanted to marry him. Even though I, w I didn't want to get married at that time that I did, I knew that my husband is the person that I was going to marry. There's, 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 like, there's nobody else for me. Honestly, there was nobody else for me. My husband was the person that my, my soul really attached to because I had no fear, I had no doubt whatsoever in mind. I knew, I was 100% sure of his love for me. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, if this even makes any sense, yeah, my husband and I have the same, you know, interest in things. Like the food I don't eat, my husband does not eat them. The food that I love the most, my husband happens to love them the most. This is not something we, we got to find out over time. It is something that we asked each other at the first conversation. Like, what do you like? What don't you like? And we got to find out that, oh, he doesn't eat this and I don't eat this. He doesn't eat that and I don't eat that. You understand? He loves this and I love it. He doesn't love it, I don't love it. So I was like, hmm, makes sense, right? These are the little ways that I knew that my husband was the right person for me. These are just the little ways. I don't think there's a rule or there are rules and regulations. I just feel like it's unique, you know. There are, there are no set down rules for this. I feel like it's unique, it's peculiar to everybody. Yeah, so that's it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching. Please and please and please, please subscribe to my channel in case you did not at the beginning of this video. In case you are stubborn and you refuse to subscribe at the beginning of this video, kindly subscribe now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I'm grateful. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.